Hey guys, what is up? Redpen Mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you all doing really well and have another good day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the new NB Miner version 39.6. I think this update is worth mentioning for everyone here as uh, it's been definitely much better and a lot more stable than the previous versions. And I've been testing it on my LHR GPUs and it's been quite awesome. I've noticed a little hash rate bump and at the pool it shows the reported hash rate to be really good and I've noticed the shares have also been going up as well. So it seems like NB Miner is the king in the LHR mining software as of right now. So I guess I'd start with that. You guys can close the video now. Go ahead, install NB Miner on your rigs and uh, go to town. But feel free to stay here. I just want to talk about a few other things here and I want to show you guys my results with my LHR GPUs right now. I have 3070 Ti's, I have 3060 LHR V2's, and I do have a rig, a mixed rig with uh, a bunch of LHR GPUs, 3080 Ti, uh, 3060, 3060, and a 3070 Ti, which I'll talk about in a sec. But I just wanted to note that, you know, NB Miner, they just updated this about two days ago. And the biggest thing here that they changed is that their default value now has increased to 74. And I believe it was uh, 71. So that's why uh, we're getting a little bit higher hash right now. And I'll show you guys what I mean in a sec. So it's it's been really good. It's been really good. And I just want to touch base on quickly the other mining software that have been updating for the LHR cards like LOL Miner, T-Rex Miner, and uh, G Miner. LOL Miner just updated yesterday. Okay, so it looks like they have some optimization here. Slightly changes internal LHR parameters of 3070 Ti and 3080. Uh, but I tried it and it didn't seem that great. I, I was still getting regularly the same hash rate as I was with the older version of LOL Miner. I believe the version was uh, 1.34 here. So it was running really good. I was using LOL Miner for the past, I would say, two weeks now. And it was really good. But now I've switched over to NB Miner and it looks like I'm getting, like I said in the beginning, higher hash rate, more shares, that kind of thing. So T-Rex Miner... They've updated five days ago, but uh, you know T-Rex Miner and LOL Miner, they don't have the uh, LHR74 mode. So I haven't seen any higher hash rate with these software. And then uh, G Miner, they haven't updated for the past 28 days. So I don't think anyone's using G Miner for their LHR cards. Maybe some people are, depending on you know which GPUs you have. And actually, I just did a video yesterday comparing the efficiency and like the price per hash dollar per hash of uh, all the like new GPUs and so uh, I guess uh, we're gonna have to redo some of the LHR ones because now that NB Miner has increased the hash rate we're gonna have to change up all these numbers here so you guys let me know down below what results you guys get in either Hive OS or Windows I would like to know your guys's hash rates and uh, power consumptions and the software maybe this will help some people uh, let us know your overclocks and stuff in the comments please let me know just just comment about that if you got this far but hopefully people watching this video that it'll help someone out there uh, you know if they have an LHR GPU and using NB Miner version 39.6 that uh, it'll help someone. So there you guys go. So thank you guys for doing that. Okay, going along guys, let's talk about now. I'll show you guys my results. My 3070 Ti's, I am able to get about uh, now uh, about 58 mega hash. <laughs> and thank you to Max Voltage. He actually just did a live stream and I was watching it and he was able to achieve the same 57, 58 mega hash and I copied his overclock settings in Hive OS and uh, they were quite amazing. Normally, uh, you can see here actually, I have one GPU at uh, 1550 core, absolute core clock and the uh, 2000 memory and I'm able to get about 57 mega hash on this one. Just a real quick weird thing about this one is that, you know, once I put it to 900, it would only mine at like 45 or 47 mega hash. So I don't know if this this GPU is gimped or thermal throttling or something, but once I put it to 1550, it seemed to mine a lot better at, at the, around the same power consumption, 180. Uh, you can see here, some of my GPUs are doing 170 watts, which is pretty good for 58 mega hash, 3070 Ti, but before, just to show you guys here, I was using LOL Miner, right? And so the whole rig was getting about 535 mega hash, but at about, I was using like 140 to 150 watts per GPU. 
at like 45, 47 mega hash. But now with the latest NB miner, I've jumped up to about almost 693, almost 700 mega hash. I wish I, I wish I can get 700, but you can see here. Yeah, it's these are numbers I've never seen before on a 3070 Ti, which uh, you guys know these are already LHR. So there you guys go. Really nice 3070 Ti's. All right, now next one is my 3060 rig, uh, 12 by 3060s. And so I was using this rig on uh, LOL Miner as well previously for the longest time. You guys can see here I was averaging about 412 mega hash. And uh, I was using the same overclocks here. I haven't changed the overclocks. I just switched over to NB Miner, and I can just scroll in here to show you guys the difference. I'll, I should do that on the 3070 Ti as well. Uh, so you can see here, 412 mega hash, and then I jumped up to 420. Great number, 420, 421. So there you guys go. I've jumped, I've added like another eight, you know, nine mega hash or so. And yeah, we didn't actually get like another mega hash on each GPU. We maybe got like a 0.7 or something, 0.8 per 3060 here. So we've garnered a little bit more hash rate, but at the same power consumption, the same overclock settings that I was using with LOL Miner. So it seems like it's, uh, it seems like to be, it's, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Now the next rig I have is the, uh, just the mixed rig of LHR GPUs. I have a, a 3060 that's LHR V1 are a limited actually I, I call these gpus the limited i know a lot of people call them lhr but the lhr term didn't come out for these first generation 3060s but anyways and then i have a 3060 uh, lhr v2 version here evga and then i have a 3080 ti this is the uh no 3d one which is gimped i know a lot of people can get over 80 to 88 mega hash now on the 3080 ti I have yet to find some type of BIOS update for this GPU. I know that there was, I think it was the EVGA uh, 3080 Ti XC3 where people were getting the same hash rate that I was. There was a video I talked about the 3080 Ti's and there are some out there that can only go past like 30, 73 to 74 mega hash uh, like the one I have here. I can't get any higher. I've done so many different settings and it's just gimped and so I'm hoping to one day when I when I'm up to it when I have enough courage to BIOS update this with another BIOS just to unlock the I guess the power the core whatever all that stuff on this on this 3080 Ti I'll let you guys know but anyways I do have a 3070 Ti here it's the same one with my Octominer rig here with the other 3070s and yeah you can see here the hash rate has jumped quite a bit it's it's really good it's been really good this is where you know I was at 666 but uh, my, my numbers were on different overclock settings. I had 2000 memory and I think 1550. So I went and used max voltages numbers. You guys should go subscribe to them as well. Link down below. And then this is the numbers I'm getting now. 58, 56, which is pretty good. But yeah, these are the numbers that I'm getting. I would love to know what you guys are getting with, with the latest version of NB Miner. It seems to be really good. And uh, who knows, in the next couple days, watch it be like LOL Miner, they're going to come out with a new version, and or maybe it's going to be T-Rex Miner with, you know, LHR uh, 75 or 76 or 78 or 80. You know, it's it's just the constant battle between these uh, these miners, which I, I love. It's, it's great because the developers are working hard unlocking the LHR that NVIDIA has put forth on these GPUs, and all of us miners are fighting against, you know against us so it's great it's great that this is coming about 74 man we were at like i think 68 for the longest time and then 69 and then 70 71 and then i think we jumped to 74 here with nb minor so pretty good pretty good so far i would love to know your guys's results again please let me know your guys's overclocks and numbers down below so i can update my my spreadsheet here i would really love to and uh as well as overclocks just to help some other people out if you guys can as well and the models of the gpus okay so that would help a lot thank you all for watching i'll see you on the next one have a good one and peace out